Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 6. My name is Michael Batman Guy and today the Apostles are on the move. Look at that team. Turbo team. Moving out from Aachen to spread the word of denouncing Venice. If you don't get that joke, you need to watch more Door Monster. Uh, anyways, I scooted a couple of nights about and now we are ready to see what everybody else has in store for... Okay, maybe not. Apparently you still want to do something. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to do with these guys now. Um, the war's over. Uh, is there a way to unlevy them? You already have the levy. You already have already levied the military of this city state. Okay. Just. I don't know. Go back. I don't care. France sent an envoy to Brussels. Urgh. France. And I have progressed to the industrial era. Steam power. Ooh. And urbanization. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah. Now, is that like, would you be praying for good accuracy of your guns or bad accuracy of the enemy's guns? Uh, okay, uh, not what I wanted. This. Brussels. Brussels. You. Mmm. Okay, my, my next two have to go there. That's going to be a while. Seven points per turn. I get two at 150. How do I get more points? Governments and policies are the source of points. So, um, this is two influence points per turn towards earning a city-state envoy. That's two. And. Ah, gain five influence points per turn. At 150, earn two envoys. I see. Okay, and this these are three per turn. Seven. Oh, oh, seven points per turn, and then you earn three envoys. Right. Oh, that's even better. Okay. I don't think I'm anywhere near... I just got Merchant Republic. Right. Um, we're, we're kind of ignoring Divine, right? Even though it has the Lamont and St. Michael and the Reformed Church in order to push for colonialism just for the free envoys there. Um, we'll probably grab Scorched Earth for the same reason. Working towards, um, anything you actually have the new government? There we go. Gotta get to ideology. It's kind of the goal. And that can only be um, boosted by like a, a great person, or I don't think you can steal anything to get that. Anyways, anyways, we really need to f focusing on the tech tree. Now that we can do square rigging, awesome siege tactics. We can get our castles and our Renaissance walls. Um, I'm hoping that we really aren't going to need walls. It's going to be smooth sailing from here. Haha, <laughs> smooth sailing. All right. Um, what I would like is industrialization, scientific theory, sanitization, build two neighborhoods. Interesting. How do I get neighborhoods? I need urbanization. So grow a city to 15 pop. Oh, I already did that. I already got that one. Okay, so after colonialism, just do that. This is declare war using a Cassus Belli. Apparently, um, a joint war does not count as a Cassus Belli. That's a different kind of deal, so I didn't get that boosted. Unfortunate. I know, but what are you going to do? Got to get things the hard way. Um, Sue, what do you need most? You could get 
quite the industrial zone. There are a lot of hills here. Um, in fact, let's take a look. We need a, a spot that is like surrounded by hills. So like on here you would have three adjacent. Here you'd have one, two, three, four adjacent hills. That's pretty good. And I think that's probably the best spot. Yeah. So let's do that. You're going to go there. You're going to grow towards that. That's going to cost money. Ugh. But I want that industrial zone. I need to get those workshops up. So we're going to do it. Industrial zone. Buy this. Then build industrial zone. Right there. Of course, I'm not putting any mines on this yet. Um, that would be the job for this builder. You know what? Why don't you go over here and plan on building a mine there. Okay. Knight, what can you spot for me? Nothing. Go and cover that tile. I want to see the Chichen Itza. And you go defend that rice. No, sugar. Sugar, defend the sugar. I don't know what to do with these guys. You need to repair the bajibers out of everything. Oh my gosh. Why does that take so long? 60 production. Goodness. Goodness. Okay. Start with the water mill so we have more production. Um, in the first place, you... Oh, I can upgrade to field cannons now. That's right. Aha, uh -huh. try to mess with me now, huh? Try and mess with me now. Okay, you're gonna just farm it up. You, I... I don't... Can I put you to sleep? I can have you auto-explore. <laughs> That's funny. We'll just kind of spread these guys out. Stick with the fog-busting technique. Um, we can purchase a missionary. Don't care. Industrial roads. Oh, my roads are even better. Yes. Yes, okay. Um, you want a trade route. Hey, I can actually do that. And you want to trigger Eureka for what? Economics. 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 Where... Where is that? Is that... Is that here? Is that te tech? I never know. Build two banks. Okay. I believe we've we've got how many banks do we have? Does anybody have a bank? Don't remember. Did you build a bank? In yours, you have not. Okay. And you still need a market in the bank, but again, stuck on these world wonder projects, really slowing things down. A barbarian scout up there. Uh, we have to destroy it. We have no choice. You need to... No. Wake up. And heal. There we go. And... Alright, trading route! Trading post. I'm um, sorry. Result of trading route. And... Yeah, you want the economics. You want a trade route all the way up there. Um, From Gersu? Yeah, we could do that. Could do that. I'd rather it be, you know, to my really wanted the influence on, but take what you can get. Medieval walls in Congo. Fair enough. You just fortify up. Um, same with you. These guys are basically going to be stuck on repairs the entire time. 
Um, unless I want to go for the pagoda. Isn't that that's the one that is um, currently unique to Buddhism, right? Yeah. So yeah, build that before we wipe Buddhism um, off the face of the planet. And this guy from Yersu, ah, yeah, you are ready to go to Vilnius. And right there. Yep. Money, culture, faith, all good stuff. Okay. Crossbow. Um, I'm just going to fortify them. I don't want to upgrade them yet. Um, same with these guys. Just fortify all the guys. You need to put another farm here. Get that. Excellent. Um, you can fortify there. You can fortify there. You can try to kill that scout. At least he's doing something. Make yourself useful. Um, you will defend that. You will defend the hill. And I think that's almost it. Okay, yeah, you fortify on that sugar. Oh, the Apostle, you have arrived. Excellent. Okay, we can launch an Inquisition. We can add a belief. That would be useful, too. We can do a spread. Who needs the spreads? Um, I'm thinking we go here first. And... You go on the cattle. Up there, make sure nothing spawns there. Okay, good. Good, that was like the fastest turn yet. New building has appeared in capital of France. Permanent embassy from Congo. And a holy site in Rowan. Oh, they finally finished that, did they? Good for them. Good for them. They... They can work on that. spread of the rule of reason. But who is going to spread it among the colonizers? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, when the ones spreading reason are being unreasonable. What do you do then? Production for naval units, don't need it. 25% gold in cities, not on your original continent. Mm, not going to do a whole lot for me. But this would be good. Instead of just one gold for each of your envoys at the city-state, we can get two science, culture, faith, and gold from each suzerain. Go. I don't know if that's a net... Um, gain in gold, but a gain across the board and everything else, definitely worth it. So, confirm. And, oh, there it is! There's the Chichen Itza! Look at it! It is cool! Good job, Congo! Um, can I have my night back, America? Please? Thank you? Don't trap me in here. And you go over there, bust a little more fog. This little builder has a building to build. Other than uh, ziggurats and farms. I'm thinking more farm. And you guys get over there, bust that fog. And now we have Great Pearson to claim. Ooh, who is it now? Great Merchant! Instantly builds a bank and market in the district. The bank gets two great work slots, which can hold anything. Yes! Giovanni de Medici! Thank you. I... I got envoys? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Ha 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 ha! Okay, um, Brussels. You're mine. Yes? Yes! Who's in me? 15% production towards wonders. Oh, that is going to help so much. So much. So many people are building wonders. You're building a wonder. You're building a wonder. You're building a wonder. And and you're building one. I have four wonders going right now. Yeah, we need that desperate. And then you... You have movement. Um, I believe... Yeah, they don't have a market or bank. So that's perfect. Go here and instantly build a market and bank. Ba Bam! Yes! Best bank ever! They can hold uh, great works of art. That's, that's pretty great. 
Okay, you should have been on the move. Already. Unfortunately, I ended up wasting a, a movement point swapping with him, but um, I have faith to purchase a pagoda. Wasn't that this thing? Where where else? I guess that's just here. Like, I, I could just buy it outright, right? Right, right. Yes. Okay. I don't want to do that, though. Um, I would prefer... Let's see, couldn't we get... Oh, doesn't... Oh, you need a holy site first, that's why. You have the holy site. And we, are, we already built the Watt. Correct? Let's just check here. Watt! Yeah, plus two science, plus three faith. This is very nice. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to these guys and just just fortify them. They're, they're good enough. I don't know where that stupid scout went. He probably killed it. Okay, again, wa waste of money, but y you never know. They could have come in handy. It was the safe bet. But it's fine. It's fine. We got to play with it, right? It was fun. While it lasts. <gasps> Congo sending. Oh, it's a denouncing Venice apostle. Yeah! Congo, alright! Helping me spread my religion. I knew I liked those guys. Uh, okay, so other than... What are you doing here? Other than severe lack of housing, apparently. Ada needs more housing. We will get on that. I know, you've spent all your time making this spy. My... Oh, my alliance has expired, yet that was a housing symbol for some reason. Um, how is our relationship? It is fantastic. They don't like the warmongering. Can we try to be friends? Not ready to accept friendship. Let it ripen first. Okay. Well, yeah. You know, that whole 34 warmongering penalty. Pretty harsh. Um, I have no warmongering penalty with them. Is that because I made the, the joint declaration with them? Probably it. 29 warmongering. That's probably it. None of my uh, warmongering for taking these applies to Paris because we teamed up for this one. If only you could team up with more than uh, one uh, civilization at a time. But I guess that would be a little bit broken, wouldn't it? Because then you would get... Well, I could potentially get no warmongering penalty with anybody. And... While I do want the mine here, I'm going to have to buy that tile first, aren't I? Boy, I am buying a bunch of tiles. Jeez. Alright, give me a mine there. Now they have a mine somewhere, and it'll be next to their industrial district. So I'll give them a nice bonus. So, on um, that hill. There we go. And you... Go here? Nope. Go there? Fine. And, uh, yeah, you also just kind of fortify there. Brought you down here, because this place likes to spawn barbarians. Just kind of stop in the middle here. And I think we'll call that the turn. What are they going to do? Congo denounced America. Congo built a... Claims that cannot be Mabanza in Mumbai. Assertions immune to disproof are veridically worthless. Whatever value they may have in inspiring us or exciting our sense of wonder. Mm -hmm. Someone said this is kind of the the definition of of science. It's claims that cannot um, claims that could be proven false. You know, unlike say some more philosophical uh, topics that you really can't say that it's wrong. So. You, how do you know it's actually right? If you can't prove it either way. Plus one food from plantations is nice. We can do a research agreement. I'm sure I'll get requests for that now. 
And we could build Oxford. 20% science. Awards two randomly chosen. Free technologies when completed. Must be built on grasslands or plains adjacent to a campus with a university. Ooh, I, I don't know if I have any place that can do that. Because, like, my campus is in the tundra here. So, I can't build it in Uruk. For sure. Nope. Uh, who else has a campus right now? Aachen has a campus. Uh, oh, you need a university, though. I see, you have not really upgraded your campus. Otherwise, I could, yeah, get Oxford right there. That would not be bad. Um, anybody else? You you went for Holy Site instead. Yeah. Okay. We're just we're just gonna have to uh, wait that one out. In the meantime, I really I prefer like sanitation. You get plus one housing, you can put sewer, you get plus two housing, or or stock exchanges. You can build the two banks and the two neighborhoods. So there's going to have to wait. So we're going to go along the military techs because those are all boosted. Okay, you are still repairing everything. My goodness. My goodness. Uh, what to build first? Yeah, let's do the monument. Just go with the uh, the cheap things first. Fortify you, fortify you, and we need to get this knight back into our home territory. Or where are you going, settler? Um, could be anywhere. Could be here. Okay. Boy, isn't that tempting. Boop! <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Just kidding, France. Just kidding. Um, ooh, we can get another apostle. Yes. Do that. Yes, let's get that guy. Good. And this one, then. Let's let's see if we can't do um, a spread. You do a farm. Boom! You can go ahead and retire now. Good. And move on to the next turn. America built the harbor. Congo earned a great merchant. France is facing a barbarian raid. Oh, they fi they finally got... Oh, there's an encampment right there. And you need food. Consider focusing your city on food. It's not going to help. It literally will not help. They are getting as much food as possible. What they need is uh, the granary itself and then a builder. Um, build a fishing boat. That'll help. And I don't remember if the deer gives more bonus food or not. Um, you now, Erudu. I think this would be a great place to build a trader. Don't you? Yes, I do. And you have a builder. Nitor, finally! And another knight to return to the city. Um, let's send him up to that side. I don't trust France. I don't think anybody trusts France. Okay, more spread. Uh, religion spread eliminates other religions. Oh! Oh, that would be great, because then I could just go down to, like, it's and just boom. Finish it. Um, religious spread is triple strength, and other civilizations don't need that. Gain three extra spreads when moving adjacent to a natural wonder for the first time. That would have been better than Orator, because I know where some of them are. 
Um, gain 100 gold if this unit converts a city to your religion for the first time. Convert all adjacent barbarians? Nope. Religious strength. Um, artifact if he dies in combat. Operates as a medic. I don't think any of them are really going to help because okay let's let's do this one in the opposite direction let's give that one orator this time and you ah he can still launch the acquisition okay good to know let's um Uh, that's gonna take too long. Hmm, let's, let's just spread it again here. Nope, nope, spread religion. There we go. 220. And we won't know until next turn. And then we will see... Uh, America adopted meritocracy. America switched to classical republic. France built a temple. Okay. Fair. Uh, you get a mine on that, and now we have that, and now you have five spreads. You can launch Inquisition, spread religion, right. You, down to three spreads, you could still launch the Inquisition. And do the evangelized belief. So let's, now that we've verified, one could do that, all you need is three spreads. Let's try it the other way. What if you have five spreads? And you do this first. It uses two of them. Okay. No, it doesn't. He's gone. And then what? And then you... Didn't it only use two of them? And then... He had... Five... Nan no, no. Five minus two down to three. Okay. Yep, consume the whole guy. Okay, but hey, we can make Inquisitors. We can also... Uh, let's go ahead and evangelize. And choose a new belief to add. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? If we could get something that like eliminates other ones, that would be fantastic. Um, or theater squares provide bonus faith and culture. That's cool. Gold for each city. Four gold for every four followers. Those are always nice. Just the easiest way to get a, um, a straight up, you know, practical bonus out of spreading your, your religion around. Because it's extra stuff. I mean, you make one thing and it, it just accumulates all on its own pool of points. So you don't have to worry about giving up something else um, to buy stuff with the faith. Um, let's see, religion spread further away, missionaries and apostles are cheaper, units ignore movement costs of train, your religion pressure never drops due to losses, combat, I really like scripture though, it spreads to adjacent city, pressure is 25% higher, and boosted to 50% once printing is researched. So that's that's more passive. Then I don't have to worry about buying a bunch of missionaries and guys and doing that. Uh, I like that. Let's do that. Confirm. And it'll just kind of spread passively. Because you can eventually, you know, buy uh, great people with faith. Look at that. Only 600 f to instantly build ancient and medieval walls in a city and provide enough gold per turn to pay their maintenance. That sounds wonderful. Uh, James of St. George for 683 faith. Uh, these guys, much more expensive. Much more expensive. I'm working on... Don't I have great writing points? Two per turn. And Congo has eight. Okay. I have, I have no points towards these guys. That's part of why they're so expensive. I believe this cost decreases the further along uh, the progress you are. That's why he's so cheap. I'm already halfway there. 
And we're gonna get the merchant. Oh, Congo's gonna pass this up. They're getting one more point. Congo and their great people points. My goodness. Unmatched. Unmatched. But we will beat them um, in everything else, right? As soon as we, oh, we need... As soon as we get a builder over here to patch up Uruk. We're gonna have that Forbidden City. It's gonna be excellent. My name is Michael Batman Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.